Hey guys, this is Rob Knob 9X, and the main thing as you can see is whoa, the light is hanging. Look at that. And it's leaning slightly back. I need to kind of tilt it uh, kind of forward more like that. So it aims to the front of the tank more, but it's not doing too bad. Um, it's not obviously it's not as bright as it was before because God, it's what it's a good few inches higher, a lot higher actually. Um, but you know it's lining not too bad. But the annoying thing is this power head here, that power head over there broke off its little clip. That one's done the same now. So these are newer 1.6 whatever. They may be powerful as hell, but eventually the plastic disintegrates and they break off their little clip, the the little sucker. So um, I need to buy actually buy two new power heads, which is fucking annoying. Um, okay, so what have we got going on here? Uh, and my lever's a bit all pissed off, my big one right now, because I was all moving him around yesterday and he hasn't recovered fully yet. Plus that power head's covering him a bit. But anyway, I've just got home the clowns getting all hungry, as you can see, they're all coming up. So I'm just gonna feed them some flake here. And I haven't even got actually marine flake at the moment here. So I need to go buy some proper marine flake. Um, but they like, be fed I, I usually feed them with this little kind of a uh, tong thingy and you'll see they love it boom and you should start to see in a minute all bristle worms start coming out etc come come on clowns more flakes they should spot it again in a second and come diving up for some more oh 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 he's coming is he there we go you want some? There you go. That's the male there just taking some who gets bullied by the female big time. There we go, there we go. Oh, look at that. Okay, let me just wipe this down. Okay, so what we got? Um, so my big tube worm here, which I kind of wrapped it, oh, there's a bristle worm coming out already. It smells the food. That's one of my small ones as well, but it's still quite a decent size. Um, I wonder if my big one will show his little ugly face. Um, got my little blue hermit who's smoked some food. He's going for it. Oh, look, I've got a bit of hair algae there. Or some algae. Oh, that's not good. Mm, that's a bit annoying. Um, what else we got? Okay, uh, yeah, so my tube worm, annoyingly, kicked off his tail. Um, and it was floated up and Duncan started eating it. Um, so I had to pull that out, and it was annoying because it was a huge, quite a big tube worm, and it looked really good. So that pissed me off. Uh, my other tube worm is here, and oh, it looks like he's about to get his little tail out. Come on, focus. All right, where are we? I don't know if he's going to get it out slowly. Oh, it's coming. No, it's taking its time. It's annoying me. Um, yeah, so Xenia's all crawling around here where I put the tube worm, getting caught and probably going to piss off those candy canes there, but who cares because they're boring and they haven't got that much colour. So I don't care. Um, right, have we got any more tube worms? So what I'll do as well, got some more food here, which is here. This is some roof paste. So I've had to get a little bit of roof paste here. Where is it? There. Ocean roof paste. Oh, sorry. Right, there we go. So, grab a little bit of this. Roll it into a little ball. Um, a bit more. No, I don't want too much because my goby used to eat it. Um, so I know that it wouldn't last to start breaking down and no one would eat it. But my goby is gone now. So I'm going to not do a too big ball of it. And then we'll roll it up a bit. I'll chuck it and try and get it in the front so it doesn't get caught on anything. Cool. Not too bad. Oh, and the little tube worms out there now. There we go. It's a tube worm. So you're quite a nice colour. Okay, hang on a sec. Dry my hands. Alright, it's just a roof paste. We've got a snail coming out. So oh, right over there in between those lot is uh, the little rock that had a load of recordias on, the baby recordias that was there. But as I've been moving stuff and putting all the racking on the back and getting the light on, this whole rock fucking fell down. And it's been an absolute nightmare getting it back. I was screaming everything. Well, that's the problem with the fluver wedges. One little stupid hole up there um, is an absolute nightmare so I've got it up it's kind of stabilised itself against the pink bit at the back there um, and god I, I don't know I think it's just going to fall at any time but it's a nightmare um, a bit of me is considering upgrading to a, a bigger tank 
not too big, just like a 20 gallon or something, 20 long or something. Um, so I still don't need to get a huge sump or anything like that. But I don't know, I don't know, maybe a big hob on the back, hang on the back. But we'll see, we'll see. I've um, got some nice kind of red algae there, by the way, as well. A nice bit of macro algae, which I got me, I kind of love that. It looks really nice, especially, um, what's it called? Uh, contrasting with the um, nice light yellow of the toadstool there, which I think looks pretty awesome. Take a little uh, shot of that, it looks good there, I think. I like that. Um, anyway, yeah, so what we've got, uh, the hammer's doing good still. Um, so that's the clowns feeding. I'm waiting for anything to come out. I don't know if the tube worms have smelt their meal yet. There's the other record yard down there. Not doing too bad. Um, come on, where's some tube worms? So my main tube worm lives in these big rocks along here, behind the hammer, behind the uh, gonoporium, behind the Duncan. But um, it's not coming out at the moment. I can see a little emerald crab. Uh, where is he? There. He doesn't do much either. I mean, look to his right. Where is it? There. Look how much bubble algae that is. And he, he's right there. Why is he not going near it? Um, that's a bit annoying as it goes. You should be having that all day. Um, hmm. Okay, well, anyway, might as well leave it here. Oh, here you go. One of the now. Maybe he'll come over and you'll find a little reef paste lump. But whilst nothing's nothing else is happening, even the bristle worms aren't coming out that much. A bit boring today. Uh, anyway, well that's an update, a little feed for the tank um, and that roof paste will carry on kind of dissolving into the water column and feed the fish and uh, feed the corals I mean but yeah, so that's the light up there it's still on the time, it's not doing too bad one thing I did do is crack there again so that's one crack of the tank here's another crack, brilliant isn't it um, another reason why I, probably, why I probably should get rid of this tank I also want to start paladarium, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, give me any shouts or any recommend any nice corals I could get in here. And I will catch you later. Bye-bye.